Have you ever found yourself torn between two opposing feelings towards the same person? This might be a sign of cognitive dissonance, a psychological phenomenon that can be especially prevalent in cases of narcissistic abuse. Now, cognitive dissonance refers to the mental discomfort or tension that arises when we hold two contradictory beliefs simultaneously. Meanwhile, narcissistic abuse is a form of emotional and psychological abuse perpetrated by individuals who exhibit patterns of grandiosity, lack of empathy and manipulation. In the context of narcissistic abuse, cognitive dissonance can be particularly complex and distressing. For instance, victims often grapple with feelings of love for the abuser who may have initially been charming and affectionate, contrasted with feelings of anger or resentment due to the narcissist's hurtful behaviors. This internal conflict can make it challenging to recognize the abuse and take steps towards healing. In the upcoming scenes, we will delve deeper into how cognitive dissonance manifests in narcissistic abuse. Narcissists often employ a cycle of idealization, devaluation and hoovering that can perpetuate cognitive dissonance. In the first stage of this cycle, idealization, narcissists present themselves as the perfect partner. They shower their victims with love, praise and attention, creating a strong bond of trust. This phase can be intoxicating, making the victim feel cherished and special. However, this is not a genuine expression of love, but rather a manipulative tactic to gain control. Next comes the devaluation stage. Suddenly, the narcissist's behavior shifts dramatically. The affection and praise are replaced with criticism, contempt and belittlement. The victim, who was once placed on a pedestal, now finds themselves in the dust, constantly trying to meet the narcissist's ever-changing standards. This stark contrast between idealization and devaluation creates a state of cognitive dissonance, as the victim struggles to reconcile the person they thought they knew with the person they now see. Finally, we have the hoovering phase. Just when the victim begins to recognize the abuse, the narcissist switches back to their charming, affectionate self. They may apologize, make grand gestures, or promise to change, all in an attempt to regain control. This sudden shift back to idealization can reignite hope in the victim, making them question whether the abuse was real or just a misunderstanding. This, again, amplifies cognitive dissonance as the victim is torn between the reality of the abuse and the hope of a return to the idealization phase. Throughout this cycle, the victim's emotions are tossed like a ship in a stormy sea. They oscillate between love and hate, trust and mistrust, hope and despair. This emotional turmoil can make it difficult for them to see the situation clearly, let alone make the decision to leave. This cyclical pattern can make it difficult for victims to reconcile their feelings, leading to emotional turmoil and confusion. This is the power of cognitive dissonance in the context of narcissistic abuse, and why understanding it is a crucial step towards breaking free from the cycle. The effects of cognitive dissonance can be far-reaching, affecting both the victim's emotional well-being and their ability to break free from the abusive relationship. Imagine a whirlwind of emotions, continually twisting and turning, never settling. That's the kind of emotional turmoil victims of narcissistic abuse often experience. The tug of war between love and hate, the stark contrast between the idealization and devaluation phases, creates intense feelings of anxiety, depression and confusion. Cognitive dissonance fuels this emotional storm, making it hard for the victim to find a moment of calm. Even more challenging is the struggle to leave the narcissistic abuser. Cognitive dissonance creates a mental fog blurring the line between the abuser's manipulative tactics and the genuine moments of affection. The victim clings to the hope of reliving the good times, making it difficult to accept the reality of the abuse. This struggle, this conflict within, often leads to prolonged exposure to the damaging relationship, further deepening the scars left by the abuse. But perhaps the most insidious impact of cognitive dissonance in narcissistic abuse is the tendency for self-blame. Narcissists are masters at projecting blame onto their victims and cognitive dissonance only adds fuel to this fire. The victim may start to question their own perceptions, their own worth, internalizing the blame and feeling a deep sense of shame. This can lead to a damaging cycle of self-deprecation, further eroding the victim's self-esteem and self-worth. Cognitive dissonance, though a normal psychological response, can have a profound impact when paired with narcissistic abuse. 
it can amplify the emotional turmoil, make it harder to leave the abusive relationship and lead to damaging self-blame. But remember, acknowledging these effects, understanding the role of cognitive dissonance is an essential first step towards healing. Understanding the impact of cognitive dissonance is the first step towards breaking free from the cycle of abuse. While cognitive dissonance can make navigating narcissistic abuse challenging, there are strategies you can employ to overcome this mental discomfort. The first step is to cultivate self-compassion. Understand that the turmoil you're experiencing is not your fault. You are not responsible for the narcissist's actions, no matter how much they may try to convince you otherwise. You've been through a lot and it's okay to give yourself permission to feel, to hurt and to heal. Next, seeking support is incredibly important. The maze of cognitive dissonance can be difficult to navigate alone. Reach out to professionals who specialize in narcissistic abuse, such as therapists or counselors. They can provide you with the tools to understand what you're going through, validate your experiences and guide you towards recovery. Simultaneously focusing on healing is vital. Prioritize your well-being above all else. This might mean setting boundaries, stepping away from the narcissist or cutting ties altogether. It's important to remember that it's okay to put yourself first. Fill your life with activities that bring you joy and help rebuild your sense of self-worth. This could be anything from reading a good book to taking up a new hobby or spending time in nature. Anything that helps you reconnect with who you are at your core, beyond the narcissist's influence. While it's a complex journey, overcoming cognitive dissonance is possible. It's about breaking away from the narcissist's distorted narrative and reclaiming your truth. It's about acknowledging the pain, but also recognizing your strength, resilience and the capacity for growth that lies within you. And finally, remember that you are not alone in this. There are countless others who have walked this path and emerged stronger on the other side. There are communities and resources available to support you every step of the way. Remember, cognitive dissonance is a normal response to an abnormal situation. You are not alone, and with time and support, you can heal from the trauma of narcissistic abuse and build a healthy, fulfilling life.